Hello, composers. You know, I, I think it's easy to take for granted the composing ability that we have been given and the sheer joy of making music. I am releasing some new versions and working on a lot of new versions of Christmas piano songs. I, I work on them here. I record them in there, but I work on them here. And uh, really enjoying doing some new arrangements. And as far as I'm concerned, I consider arrangements to be as, as much work or as much uh, composing as composing is. But I am having such fun with it. And I think that is something we we don't really think about that much, we don't talk about that much, is how much fun we get to have composing. And I think that is just uh, under understated in this whole thing. And my wife has a hard time, see if you relate to this, my wife has a hard time um, with me spending a lot of time in my studio, especially since the last 22 years, my studio work and has been what has paid the bills. So if I didn't work and make work, do things for clients in my room, then we wouldn't get paid. We wouldn't eat. So um, that is starting to change now. I've got other incomes coming in from lots of plus, lots of other places. So the time I spend in there actually working on keyboards is only about, is almost half to 75% of the music work that I'm doing now because I'm not doing as much client work now uh, because I'm doing so much of my own composing. So um, she still doesn't understand the difference. Um, it, like Even though it's I, I am mostly composing and I'm in there having fun, she looks at it as work. She doesn't understand the difference between creating something for a client musically and doing something that you do musically for fun. So she thinks it still works. She just, she just believes if I'm on the keyboard, uh, unless I'm playing in here. Now it's different when I'm playing the piano. And then I'm playing and she can enjoy it. I have no idea what that sounds like to you guys, but you know, she can enjoy me playing the piano and to her that's enjoyment. But when I get into the studio, it feels like work. But both you and I know it's not work, especially when you're working on your own things. And it, it shouldn't be work. If it's work, then you're doing it wrong. Um, it's work sometimes when it's for clients or when you're on a deadline and you have to get something out. But even then, if it's your own music, there's just a joy in putting up to libraries in making stems and doing whatever you have to do. It's music that you wrote that you are putting up. And to me, that is, that is just, I'm just so thankful for that. Um, and you know what, when I don't feel like doing music, I don't do music. I do other things. I do videos. I had a choice this morning. I could either work on some of my songs that I've got going on. Uh, I have the house to myself, so it's nice and quiet. I could just work on on that. but Or I could do a video, since I really am not going to be able to do any more videos this week because of, of family time and things for Thanksgiving. So I chose to do this video with you guys. So glad to see you all here. Um, this isn't a great big long rant. Um, I just want to say how thankful I am to to compose anything I want, useful, weird, something that might bring income, something that will never even see the light of day to anyone. I just won't finish it uh, for whatever reason. You know how that is. You often also, I would imagine, don't finish everything that you start. But I just feel a great freedom in that to um, do anything I want. And so this isn't a big, long rant. It's just me being super thankful and uh, suggesting that you also think about being thankful this Thanksgiving. Now, I know some of you may not be uh, celebrating Thanksgiving. Uh, so if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, be thankful anyway. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to be thankful and be grateful for the talents you've been given and the abilities that you have and, and the things that you can do. It's, I know it's weird to be thankful for something other than your family or your health, but to me, composition 
making things, even videos like this and talking with you guys is a key part of my life. And I am so appreciative that I have this talent and that I can make stuff. So anyway, what are your thoughts on that? Do you, you think I'm crazy? Does this sound like anything people know? Shane is in the house. Shane, good to see you today. Thanks for joining us. Um, Arco says, it's kind of how my mom thinks. <laughs> he says, I am not doing music when I compose on my PC, but she enjoys when I play compose music loud. Of course, yeah, they, they think we're working when we're on the computer, don't they? And when we're on the piano, or we're playing live, it's a whole different thing. To me, to be honest with you, if I have to go play a live gig, that's way more work than sitting in my studio uh, messing about with keyboards and things like that. So um, I, I don't know how you all feel about this, but I certainly feel that that's the case. Um, it's quite week around here. I am uh, finishing up a few days of school today and tomorrow. And then we have family in and we're just going to have some family time. And uh, then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to work on compositions, finishing them up and getting them out. Um, I have, I don't know about you, but I have tons of compositions that are, that need to be done, that need to be finished. I've created them on here. I've got a whole piano Christmas album that I'm, I'm trying to do a song a day. Uh, it's kind of a solo piano album, so it's not a lot of production, but it is enough that I need to to get to it and uh, finish it up right before <laughs> and I want to launch it out first of December so people can actually enjoy it and not just wait till next Christmas and enjoy it. Marley Music says, extremely grateful. Some wishes they have the gift of making music and playing music. Absolutely. There are many people who just would would die to have the ability to be able to play the piano or play the guitar or work on music or do music at all uh, as part of your your living or your life and I think we just don't we just don't uh, give God or um, are thankful enough to for the talents we have and I've just been feeling that all week it's been something that's been on my head and on my heart um, Shane says so thankful for composition absolutely I just there's nothing that feeds me like getting done creating a new arrangement i did a new arrangement for um for i've done several new arrangements lately one is uh o come o come emmanuel uh to um to uh canon and d so that was kind of fun um i know i'm not playing in d now um and i did it in a major key so But I will be putting that up on uh, you on on uh, Spotify here very soon. Don't know if you guys can even hear that. Uh, him says working on uh, him arrangements for Lent, ten songs. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of Christmas hymn arrangements. Um, it's it's going. I think I, I'm going to name the album an uncommon Christmas because it is very uncommon arrangements of these songs. Plus, they are slightly uncommon songs. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel is not a, a, an un, unheard song, but I am doing um, a bunch of songs that aren't as popular and uh, some that are, um, I, I just uh, saw that I was looking for Christmas hymns the other day and I saw that, um, I saw that not only is, I, I just did an arrangement of For the Beauty of the Earth. It goes... Da, 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 da. Well, I was looking through Christmas songs and I found out it's the exact same melody as As With Gladness, Men of Old, which is also a hymn about Christmas. So I will be changing the title on that and getting another another one uh, for that. Arco says, I am composing something for live performance. You know, I think that's great, Arco. And I think that's something that we don't talk about enough is composers composing for live um uh, performances where we are showing stuff off and that's something I want to get into on this channel I'm right now kind of looking for a 
um, a, a, a podcast partner, similar to what Steve and I do on Make Music Income, I am looking for a podcast partner for Hello Composers. And I'm looking for a, a partner who has his own channel and is uh, and or is very active in the composing space. And I don't think that I'm looking for someone who is going to be um, either too busy or into licensing. I, I would love to find someone who is doing this maybe more from an education. I, ha I have the perfect person, but I don't know if he'll agree to do it because he is a very, very busy individual. And uh, But I am I am thinking about that just right now to, to starting a, a, a podcast weekly similar to what we do with Make Music Income, but only talking about composition. So uh, you'll, you'll see that um, hopefully uh, in the new year. Um, Eddie says, my wife requested an epic version of Oh Holy Night. She said, lots of brass, please. I'm glad you said that because we have a really cool um, arrangement today of, um, of Angels We Have Heard on High. I believe that's the, uh, yeah, by Marley Music. Oh, wait till you guys hear this. It's very cool. Can't wait to listen to that. Um, Arco says, I will be the performer. Very cool. Uh, on what instrument? Um, Mix Club says, I have a great version of Silent Night with steel guitar. I've just found. Yeah, we're going to have to probably in December, we will just make December all Christmas music here on Hello Composers. Uh, maybe even starting next week. Uh, if you've got Christmas arrangements or original Christmas music, then uh, let's... Let's spend the, the rest of this time until Christmas week um, listening to Christmas music. Listen to your Christmas arrangements, your Christmas uh, originals. And uh, that's what we'll review here on Wednesdays or uh, whatever day. I've done it Wednesdays mostly, but sometimes Thursday, sometimes Tuesday. Uh, it'll just depend on the week. But yeah, send me your Christmas songs. And by the way, if you don't know how to send me your Christmas songs, you can just email me an MP3 at hellocomposers at gmail.com. And so anytime you can send files, folks, anytime during the week, if it's like the minute before I'm getting ready to go on, like Arco's song he just sent me, we'll see how I can put that in there. But uh, if, you are, um, if you are just trying to get something in and you want to get something on the program, well, then you can... Uh, I just send an mp3 also I, I always love when people send a little bit about what the song is i can read that or talk about it so that's fun so if you've got a song uh, especially for christmas coming up it doesn't have to be christmas i will do some but as we get into december i'd really like to focus on christmas songs i know we all have tons of christmas arrangements uh, that are recorded and i just think it would be fun to go through those here on the channel as we um, just kind of celebrate the holidays. And so if you've got anything for that, um, you know, I almost did a show on what do you, what kind of songs do you have about Thanksgiving? And I, I don't have any songs about Thanksgiving. And I thought, man, I think we're missing something by not doing Thanksgiving songs. Arco says there will be a playback. Sorry. Arco says there will be a playback track and I'll play drums. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's see what else I want to get into here. I, I do want to talk about one new thing that's coming up in the new year, and that is the Hello Composers Mastermind. Now, this is something that I, I, I'm still working on, and, and it really, uh, I don't know if I want to outline it too hard. In other words, I don't want to come up with lessons that are too, um, too much that the group can't help decide and steer the way the mastermind goes. But this mastermind is going to be only for about six to eight people. And I've been talking with a few people, you know who you are, about this uh, this mastermind. And uh, I, I'm going to be doing two. I'm going to be doing one with Make Music Income. That'll be Mondays at noon. And then this one as well, which will likely be later in the week um, or another day, um, possibly Tuesday but we'll talk about it. But uh, this is for composers of any level. Um, we're going to be focusing on your particular music in this mastermind, uh, listening to what you are creating and then uh, discussing it and discussing other issues as well for composers. But uh, the main emphasis, 
I think needs to be just like this show uh, on your music, but we'll be able to spend face-to-face -face Zoom time together every week and for 12 weeks. And then there will also be three consulting uh, hour-long private sessions with me. Uh, and, and for what you're gonna pay, that would almost be paying for the, the, the consulting fees. <laughs> just paying me for four consults would get you in this composers group. And I, I'd love to have, just like I'd love to have in my class, um, older folks uh, and more experienced folks, and, and then also new composers or composers who are just coming out. So if you are interested in that, again, just email me at hellocomposers at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really interested. Uh, let me just say something a quick about this ahead of my notes for this today. Um, so yeah, you get three hour long consults throughout those three months, throughout those 12 weeks. And then you also are, and these are Zoom consults, and then we're together for 12 weeks every week for a good two hours probably to go through everything uh, that we have to go through uh, for, for that. We'll take as long as we need. Um, at some point, I have a hard cutoff at 2 p.m. to go to school, but uh, that is also a little, um, I have a little wiggle room in there. But again, limited six to eight people. So if you'd like to get on the short list for information about this, email me at hellocomposers.com, uh, hellocomposers at gmail.com. I'm going to uh, be offering an early bird price on this next week. Um, and I'll let you know what the price will be and then the kind of cyber week price that you can get it for. So email me at hellocomposers at gmail.com right here. Just email me right here if you want to get on the short list about that. Would love to talk to you about that and we can just have talks about it. We don't have to, uh, you don't, you're not committed to anything, but some people, since there's only, I can only do it for a handful of people. Uh, I really have to get a list, a short list, and then start talking to everybody. Okay, well, uh, so we're thankful for composing, and we've talked about the mastermind. So let's get to the first song of today, and let's all pray that this works well because uh, I'm running GarageBand on a on a Mac on a MacBook Air that's about five years old. So. Um, so let's see and make sure this works. I'm going to present to you GarageBand, ladies and gentlemen. How about, let's hear for GarageBand. And by the way, if you don't know, GarageBand looks almost exactly like Logic if you are on Mac now. I mean, it is totally just like it. I mean, surprisingly uh, like, um, like Logic as far as what it looks like. So... Uh, I'm going to test out a little of, uh, of my song just to make sure you guys are hearing it good. And let's hear how that sounds. It looks good. I've been the first song I did with the nylon uh, guitar from Native Instruments. Uh, such a great uh, plucked or the acoustic uh, pick nylon. What a beautiful guitar that is. Just used it the other day. All right. This first song we're going to listen to is Eddie H. Like the letter H. Um, or Eddie H. Yeah, Eddie H. I think um, you can let me know, Eddie. Also, uh, let me see if I've got any notes from Eddie about this. Um Thanks for hanging with me through the craziness of a, of a brand new, hey, but don't forget, get the piano. All right, um, this is a Cuban-inspired pop dance track for Sync. He played trumpet on it, and uh, he says, he, I left some space for in some parts so that dialogue or narration would work nicely over it. Hope you enjoy. I hope we enjoy too. Let's listen to Eddie uh, and La Habana. Here we go.
perfect time too. Love the time, two minutes. Great little cue there. Um, yeah, man, Mo, I, I really love the organ and the, is it like an overdriven electric piano? I just think that is really cool. Um, gives it so much. Um, <laughs> Brett says that'll, Brett says that'll uh, teach me for uh, leaving the studio with it cranked. Good lows. <laughs> LOL. Um, Eddie says overdriven whirly. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, really cool sound. Um, and I love how it's not overdriven to the point where it's annoying. It's just mixing in with that organ so well. And then you've got the bass and the, of course the beat is nice. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I like how you left the, the little percussion things for someone to talk or whatever. That's pretty cool. Um, is that only your trumpet? And, um, is that only... Uh, or did you mix your trumpet with other trumpets? Uh, so trumpet sounds great, actually. So we'd love to know that. Yeah, any other comments about this while we're here on this song type fast, people? We are trying to be thankful and listen to songs here. So uh, give us your thoughts, everyone that's here. We've got 11 people here. Everybody, tell Eddie something that you think about this song. So um, Mix Club says nice sound. Well, that's uh, that's really specific. Uh, Saul says, nice bass and drum combo. Okay. I kind of like the, the, the keys. Uh, Eddie says, thanks. My trumpet too harmonized. Appreciate the feedback. Yeah, man. Uh, I think the, the horns are great. The, um, it's, it's, uh, I, I think, um, I almost wanted, you could probably add in some more horns. Maybe that's, that's kind of what I am. I'm kind of hearing is, is that there could be some uh, some other horns that build in with those. I mean, it's just an idea. I think this works just fine. Marley says lots of energy. Shane says perhaps a few more chord changes. Yeah, us old schoolers are going to want to hear a new place. You don't know how hard it is to teach uh, the students that I teach at school to write a B section. Uh, everyone is so into lo-fi and so into continuous songs that just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat for two minutes and break down then build back up then break down then build back up which is all good and of course obviously that's really needed and used and people like that but I just really like uh, to to and when we get into music theory here in a few weeks I will literally make them do a B section or they will get a very bad grade which means changing the chord so you're in that I'm going to like the C minor sometime or um, that D minor is just sitting there waiting C minor, D minor seven and a C minor seven, just go somewhere else. I, I, and again, I, I'm not saying it's, it's make or break time for this song if you don't do that. But to me, I think that's very valuable. I think uh, having your, we get tired uh, and bored of songs if we're just listening. Now, the goal of this music is sync. So the goal is not listening music that I just want to listen to. I, it, this isn't lo-fi to put in the background. This is music that's going to be used in a scene. And so uh, the, the music needs to be very, uh, it's going to be over quick. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, I think you could go either way. But I also, like Shane, appreciate chord changes. Um, all right. Well, let's move right on here today. Eddie, thank you so much for that song. We're going to move on now. Uh, and by the way, make sure you subscribe if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet. This channel is growing great. I'm really, again, it's, a th it's, it's kind of a theme, you might say. I'm very thankful for the, the growth of this channel. As you know, this is uh, just a, a side channel, a second sister channel to make music income. But it's a place where we can talk about your compositions and listen to them and talk about being a composer and uh, composition in general. And uh, that's, that's why I am 
uh, excited that this channel continues to grow. Uh, I'm not in a hurry for it to grow or do anything crazy. Um, it doesn't have to monetize and it doesn't have to do anything other than just be a place where I can talk about composition, show some of my stuff off and especially show a lot of your stuff off. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for being here every week just by you guys being here, we, we get new subscribers and people coming in to listen. And make sure if your music is being listened to on this program that you are showing it to your friends and your family and your wife who's like, you're always working. No, I'm not. I'm creating stuff like this. So make sure you subscribe and uh, tell other people to subscribe too. Thank you. All right, cool. Um, next up, Mike Hawks. Is Mike in the, in the building? Uh, I haven't seen him yet. Um, Shane said, even just the third measure of the phrase, then back, yeah. Uh, he's talking about chord changes. Uh, Mike Mix Club said, that's my problem with lo-fi, too simple. Stevie B dropped a new lo-fi track. It has a great arrangement. Yeah, it does. It really does. All Stevie B stuff is cool. Yeah, and I get that. I get the fact that uh, things seem uh, that they could change. All that they could change. And, and again, Rhett falls into the club of us who are were, were brought up with key with core changes there weren't uh too many songs unless they were dance songs unless they were remixes that just did one uh chord the whole time all right let's move on to mike hawks and breathtaking and let me see if i've got any notes from mike here um mike he's had to send me a few files um Here's a song I'm not sure of a direction for. Hope you can squeeze it in. Started off on just a nylon string piece and then it grew. All right, well, let's take a listen to this and we will go and listen to Breathtaking. Let's make sure I go to the right track. Ooh. All right. And here we go, Mike, with Breathtaking.
magical. Very magical. Yeah, Mike, um, I like this song a lot. I love your guitar work, as always. Guitar work is fabulous. But there is one thing that is bothering me on this song, and that is that I am just hearing too much beat, uh, too many issues with the beat. Uh, I, I don't feel like that everything is lined up very well on this song. Um, just not hearing um, that, uh, I don't know. It, 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 it's just when the beat comes in, like for instance, let's go listen to this right here. Um, right here. that bass I'm not sure I feel like the bass is with the guitar with is with the drum beat thing that's going on um, it's like I'm, I'm the train I'm trying to catch up with the train or the the two cars are trying to catch up with each other I don't know what it is it, to me it might be, and again it might be the bass and the and the and the drums locking in I don't think the problem is the arrangement, although it is quite obtuse with the harp going on. And yeah, you're right. It's it, I could see where you'd be confused on what to do with it. Um, I think the production could be a little bit better. And um, let's see what Eddie says. Um, Eddie says, too much boom, boomy of a kick. Yeah, maybe. But I think whatever that kick is doing, uh, I don't think the bass is with it. And it might be because the bass is kind of, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's got a kind of a, a, um, a swooshy feel to it. So it's, it's not, it doesn't seem to be catching up to the beat or consistent with the beat. Arco says, nice, I like how the melody has a continuous movement. Uh, that's the magic when you play all along and move out of that four bar loop thing. Yeah, that, that is that is nice. And I, I appreciate the chord changes and things that are going on there. Um, I do like the harp. It's gonna be a harpy day apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, I like the harp. And I think you're still in the, in, the, in the figure out phase on this song. It's like, you know, when I have a composition going and I have like 15 of them in there right now at this stage. And they're all 75 to 80% there. I've I've come up with it, and now I have to just lock everything in and add the last little pieces on top of every arrangement or every song. And I know you know how that is because it, that's just uh, that's just how uh, how it goes for us when, when we come up with songs. Uh, Daydreams is in the house. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I, I, so I think I I like the title for this. It almost, and you do have the strings going on in there. Strings get a little fakey sounding at times. Um, and it has, I think it has to do with the way that they, they, they are playing. Uh, Iso coming into the room. Hey, good to see you, Iso. Thanks for being here. Uh, Rhett says... I think the mix is pushing it into a direction that is too aggressive. I think it needs to be smoothed out. Um, yeah, if it's going to be breathtaking, I might agree with this. If, if, if breathtaking is our goal and you're, you're, you're trying to figure out where this is going to go, if it's going to go for sync or, or stock, whatever, uh, if it's going to go for any kind of licensing, it's got to have a use. What would someone be using this for? I could see this be used for someone jumping off a cliff on a, um, on an air glider thing or, or, um, you know, some kind of free or breathtaking scenery or things like that. If that's the case, it's got to sit nice and back, you know, back in the mix back there. And, um, you know, I think you got to have a lot of uh, nice, uh, you got the beat going on. I would first, you got to get the beat straightened out the beat and the bass. Uh, there's just something going on there. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's your guitars, but, uh, unless your guitar's played over a click and then you added all that stuff in and now everything is kind of not together. But I think that's the first step, Mike, is to get this really um, solid with the with the groove. And then the next 
place is to get those strings sounding a little bit more realistic and a little bit more breathtaking. I mean, if that's the whole point of the song, maybe even some French horns, maybe even some woodwinds that would bring some, you've already got the harp, maybe bring a little bit more magic and breathtaking stuff to this. And I think um, otherwise, I think, um, you know, that might, uh, that might be, a good way. Uh, Daydream says the upper two music pieces have a nice straight line on the level. Yeah. Uh, so I hope that helps, Mike. Uh, I think you are in the arrangement phase. I think you've got the kind of compositional things down. If anybody has anything to say compositionally, I'd love to know. But um, I think right now I'm being bugged so much by the kick, I mean, by the rhythm part of this song that it's hard for me to really think about the structure and and some of the stuff. I know some of the string stuff is a little a little wonky uh needs to be replayed type of thing for realism. Again, with a song called Breathtaking, I love the idea of the the nylon guitar with all of this beat and then with strings. I do a lot of those kind of things too, but I think the beat has got to be straightened out. Okay. Well, let's move on with our next song. I hope that helps Mike. Uh please email me if you have any questions. And remember, if you do want to email me your MP3s to play on a future show, we're talking about only doing Christmas stuff after Thanksgiving, just like uh, just like you know Walmart. There's only it's all Christmas from this point on. So uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna. And speaking of Christmas, we have this next song by Marley Music, and uh, this is a really fun. Uh, thing here uh, and let me get to Marley's email here um, so we have uh, I just did a big band arrangement of angels we have heard on high and so uh, yeah he says if you want to prior prioritize compositions instead of arrangements no biggie but listen I told him this about in a resp response to his email I, I feel like arrangements are every bit the work that compositions are. And I think uh, good composers are also good arrangers for the most part. Because I think a good arrangement is a composition into itself. I think a good arrangement is doing something different with the piece. And, uh, and so when you're arranging a song, please do something different with it. Do something unique with it, make a better sound. And, and I think that's exactly what uh, Marley Music has done here. So let's go listen to Angels We Have Heard on High. You guys are going to like this. This is fun. Okay, so I'm glad you're here with us uh, for this one. 
uh, Marlon Music, because you got to tell us how this was uh, made. Um, what's up? Okay, so uh, you got to tell us. <laughs> yeah, Brett is right. What a treat that is to listen to. Um, Arco says that MP3 is real, right? Um, this is going to be interesting. This, if this is VSTs, you need to be selling it for them, <laughs> says Brett Noise. Our uh, ISO says just incredible. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I, I, I am with the with the others here. I think this is just excellent. Very uh, nice. I guess my only thought. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this guy. So we're gonna just put user. I uh, have to block this guy. Um, I think, uh, you know, my only thought is that it could somehow get a little quieter at one point. Maybe there could be uh, a breakdown. Um, a drum solo might do it, but it's just, excuse the expression, but balls to the walls all the entire, how long is it? Um, two minutes-ish, yeah, a little under two minutes. Uh, it's just... <laughs> I mean, it never lets up the entire time. And so uh, I, I would suggest that um, <laughs> Mix Club says, I think I smell a pro. Well, I hope we all are pros and doing pro things here. Um, but yeah, uh, tell us how, you have to tell us now, is that 100% um, VST, says Marley. I, I thought that was the case because... Um, I, I, and you'll have to tell us what the horns are, what the horn orchestra sounds are and where they come from. The mallets, I think, help. The vibes help a lot. Whenever I want to really achieve realness on a like on uh, some jazz that sounds real, vibraphone really helps to uh, to kind of make it more realistic because you can you can do a, a pretty a pretty realistic uh, vibraphone with uh, with VSTs and then even, yeah, yeah, agreed, very underrated. Um, also, man, is that even the sax, is even the sax solo? Yeah, we gotta go back and listen to that sax solo. Let's go listen to it because that sax solo was smoking. Let's find that. <laughs> Yeah, I think there is a few giveaways that um, that it's um, that it is. Uh, you could tell there are some VSTs. The sax solo, if you if you listen carefully, I think it could be. Yeah, Marley is still holding out on us on the uh, the the package of, of of horns. It's like he doesn't want to give up, uh, you know, any kind of. Uh, <laughs> Any kind of secrets here or something. Um, so yeah, uh, very nice, great stuff. I, um, it sounds authentic to the area. Casual listeners would never know. You're right about that. No casual listener would ever know. Um, Marley says some parts were very loosely quantized, bass mainly. Yeah, I, I like how, especially on the drum solo and stuff, it feels a little loose. Um, and it feels, it's funny. It feels like it was recorded live because the drums would be in back behind the orc behind them a little bit in the back of the stage. And, and they, they sound like they're back there. So a great job mixing too, and just a fun, fun arrangement. I hope you're doing like a whole album of these. Uh, this is something that I would absolutely, um, 
uh, maybe pitch to sync, maybe find a library that might be interested in having this for, uh, for TV and film where they need something like this that happens. I think once we get to that level, there might be discerning ears in the library that might say, you know, if this had a real sax solo, uh, that's one place that, that you could tell if you're, if you're a pro that you might, you know, if you're, you have certain things. So thank you. Soap cubes. Glad you're here. Um, Marley says sampling, modeling, sample modeling, brass, audio modeling, saxophones, jazz drums from straight ahead samples. That's great. All right. Glad you're here. Thanks. Okay. So let's move on to the next song. And the next song is by Arco. Uh, I don't know how you follow that up, Arco. Uh, I have to put you in here because I haven't made a thing for you yet. Hold on just a second. This is Arco S. By the way, if you didn't know, Arco had a, uh, a whole string library named after him by uh, Orchestral Tools. They just announced, what's it called? Metropolis Arc O. <laughs> so uh, I think this is called Happy Harps, right? Happy Harp, okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I made a joke on our Discord. And by the way, if you're not in our Discord, go down below and get into our Discord. Lots of information and uh, people to talk to about music there. So if you like talking about music and you like finding out stuff about how to make music income and composition and all that kind of stuff, then you're going to love our Discord and it's absolutely free. Just go down into the description below and you can find out about that. Okay, so we're going to listen now to Happy Harp by Arco. Here we go. Uh, wait a minute. Before we listen to this, Arco, is there anything you want to say uh, to this? Um, okay, we're getting spammed by somebody here. So, Soap Cubes, appreciate you, but you're going to have to be put in timeout here because too many texts going on, but thank you so much for being here. Um, Mix Club says, I, if I was able to find anything that sticks out, this is about the last one. It was, I worked at, with a lot of jazz bands. I think it has a little too much upper tops in the mix. I know they would have to tone it down some. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think it's good. Um, so yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Arco says, I think I'm in the discord. No, somebody says, I think I'm in the Discord. Uh, Mix Club says, I think I'm in the Discord. I can't work it. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way about Reddit. It's just too much. It's just so much. You are welcome, Marley. Thank you for showing us that song. I appreciate it. Um, Arco says, I will change the name of this song, uh, Happy Harp, to something else, and this is still in production. Let's see if I have a note from him about this song. This is harp music I am still working on, kind of e easy listening, cinematic music, aiming for sync. I am still working on it. Would like to know about the arrangements and the composition sounds. Yeah, definitely need another name, I think, for sure. Okay. All right, well, let's listen to this song by Arco, which is called Happy Harp. Here we go. So, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Really, really tight uh, beginning there. I don't really have any thing at the beginning make sure guys you're leaving at least half a second or so on the front of your arrangements when you're making your final files because it can it can be a little bit uh yeah there is nothing at the beginning there so i'm just going to push it over a little bit so we have a little bit of space to start this here we go
was Happy Heart by Arco. Yeah, man. Um, I would say on this one that uh, and I'm just gonna make a quick deletion here. Um, that I I'm not so sure that I think anything of this has to do with harps. If if you're trying to make that lead a harp, then it, it just sounds too much like a guitar. And I think there's a better lead for this, um, and maybe a better melody. I think the melody is a little uh, is is a little simplistic. I think it could be you could do more with it, and with a better sounding plugin. I think uh, the drums don't sound too bad, but they're a little straight ahead. There's uh, it's a little sleepy of a tune. I think the bass and drums are fine. Um, I think, and I think the guitar is kind of a cool idea. Um, ISO says, been smiling this whole time during the song. It looks like it's doing its job. Very well done. Um, so I just think, I think there's more that this song could do. And I I'm not even sure if I have like a direct answer, but if I just drop in the middle of this thing. I just think it's a little, it might feel a little rambly to me, uh, if that is a term that you understand. I use it a lot, but I use it sometimes. I mean, it's, the chords are, the A and the B sections are are, are pretty good, but um, it, it's just, there's not a lot going on. There's not a lot of, um, uh, it, the guitar is pretty, um, it, it, it's pretty held back. It's very, Jung, jung, jung. Um, I think the bass and drums are fine, but there's no really subdivision underneath it. No little beat or something that some kind of, maybe some kind of bump, bump, bump. If you want this to be kind of cinematic, then I think, yeah, exactly. This is kind of what I was thinking. Leandro, good. Thanks for being here. Some sort of pulsing element could help bringing it forward and keep moving it forward because it feels like at any time it just might just kind of just stop. And I think it needs something there. So I think mainly the lead melody uh, pr probably could be a better instrument than what is on there. I think that um, the uh, there could be some kind of element that's moving along because your guitar is not giving it enough, ryth enough rhythm. It's it's providing some, some contrasting uh, sound material you know but i i don't think it's giving i would almost rather hear so that would do it as long as that's really groovy and time with that beat um <clears throat> make sure your kick your 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 drums and bass are nice and tight with the groove too is something i would think about um yeah I, well i'm not worried that it ends abruptly because i think that um you know, uh, I think it's that you need to, uh, he's not even done with this. He already said this is something he's working on. Um, Daydream says, Eric, find the right words for it. Really, Eric, find the right words. Um, I was thinking uh, some kind of pizzicato thing underneath that. Yeah, that would be something that might kind of move it along. But uh, any kind of, dum, 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 or maybe some like marcato cellos or something zoom dun 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 and it could grow through the piece you know i think that's what's going to make it um what were you saying kind of cinematic if you're looking for cinematic it, it's going to need more strings and it's going to need a maybe the the line that's playing the melody is um winds or uh horns or something like that i think this could go in that direction i just don't think that upper top thing up there is uh is is something that that upper sound is that melody sound is something that's really doing it for me on this song uh fret says don't be afraid to step away from one chord per measure too could add some interesting harmonic rhythm yeah uh split bars is a hard thing to teach people because um it's 
everybody's used to being taught this whole four bar loop thing where you play a bar, a song every bar. And the, the people who will break out of that will, will play more than one, one chord in a, in, in a, in a beat, you know? So instead of, they'll be like, So yeah, maybe a little bit more chord movement could help uh, with the pizzicato. Um, did I see a, a thing here? Shane, oh, okay, Shane is back on his work computer. It says perhaps more cadences. Give the piece some structure, and by cadence he means, you know, the, you know, th stuff that takes us from one chord back to the tonic or or back to some place um deceptive cadence um yeah all sorts of cadences half cadence perfect cadence um so yeah uh certainly could use just a little bit more work i think arco i think it's not without merit but um i think you could definitely uh keep working on this one keep it in the keep it in the uh <laughs> in the in the queue to continue work on uh and uh thanks for sending that to us appreciate it um all right so if you missed um it before and you weren't here when i talked about the mastermind i am looking for six to eight people to join the hello Compa composers mastermind i'm not exactly sure when this will start i'd love for it to start in december but it could start and just get us through all these cold months together on Zoom, six or eight of us just really talking about your compositions and, and what you could do with your compositions. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I think um, it, in my experience of doing these masterminds, it's, it's a weekly check-in with someone face-to-face, -face, not just here on the chats where you kind of lurk or, 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 you know, sitting in the chat with, uh, with you know, not, not able to say that much and talk about that much. So I really want to do that. Arco says, thanks everyone for your feedback. Uh, Shane will have cadences. We'll also have kind of a pizzicato playing light melody underneath. Yeah, I think the pizzicato would be nice. Just remember, th the more cinematic you want to make it, make it more cinematic, make it bring a little bit more orchestral things into it and a little bit more compositional things into it. Um, I think it's pretty straight and bare bones right now. I think you can do a lot of work with it. Um, so if you're interested in the mastermind, uh, there's, uh, I don't have a page up yet. All I can tell you is to email me at hellocomposers at gmail.com. Also, if you want to one day send me some, uh, some, some submissions um, for uh, our upcoming shows, which will likely be next Wednesday, please do. Please send emails to hellocomposers at gmail.com. And uh, also, if you're interested in the mastermind and want to be on the short list when I formally announce it, make sure you are emailing me because otherwise I can't uh, know that you're interested. All right, folks. Well, I think that's about all I've got. I hope that you are as thankful as I am for composing. I'm thankful for all of you who join me on these Thursday afternoon things or these Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever it is here on Hello Composers. I really appreciate you joining me here and giving your thoughts to other people's songs. This has been uh, I, and continues to be one of my favorite parts of the week is to listen to people's music. Always surprised at what you guys do. I never would have saw, seen that arrangement of angels. Uh, <laughs> so, so glad that they be. Yeah, uh, they can. Your songs can be in content ID. This This channel is a long time away from being monetized so it's not hurting me i don't care if i get any any uh any claims you just send whatever you want to iso says i'm thankful for you for you too yes thankful for all of you arco fret noise mix club Rhett, uh shane so thankful for you guys being here um everybody uh daydreams matthias good to see you thanks for being here thankful for you my friend and all the work that you've done uh, and, and you do, uh, or I can't remember. I, I think I'm getting that right. Uh, Landro, thanks for being here. Uh, Marley music. Thanks for your songs today. 
Mike Hawks, thanks for your song today, and I hope our comments help there. Eddie, thank you for being here and for your song, Signature Music. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Um, Sal, uh, Sai, good, for, good to see you again and uh, hope to listen to more of your music soon. Uh, everybody who is here, I think that's about everybody I got. Uh, thank you so much for being here and good job, everybody. Uh, again, so thankful for this audience and my audience on Make Music Come. Thank you guys for just hanging out with me and listening to what I do. And I hope you have a great holiday if you are taking a holiday. If you're not uh, in a place that celebrates Thanksgiving, uh, then just give thanks this week for being a composer and for all the things. Uh, I've got some new comments here. Um, Cheers to you too. Uh, I will eat lots of turkey, Marley. Do not worry about that. I am on a meat diet. Um, cheers to you as well. Signature music. We'll see you guys later. Nice community here. Uh, being here for a long time. Also on Discord. Yeah, I, I'm loving the community we're building here. And uh, again, would love to do more of that in the mastermind. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, have a great week. And we'll talk to you very soon here on Hello Composers. So for now, goodbye, composers. Have a great week. Goodbye. Everybody wave. Goodbye, composers. Goodbye, composers.